Today I'm going to show you how to carve a pumpkin like a professional. This is a super easy, super fun way to carve any picture that you would like onto a pumpkin. And something unique about this way is you can also create a shadow on the opposite side of the pumpkin so that when you put the light, the shadow will be cast over your first image. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, everything we are using today will be linked in the description okay let's begin so I have already scooped this pumpkin I'll show you we can remove the top and it's empty um, also I'm going to insert what you can do with the pumpkin seeds how you can cook them in order to decrease waste this year um, a lot of pumpkins end up in the landfills on after Halloween and there's so many things you can do with them to help decrease waste so stay tuned for those as well okay let us begin the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take the image that we want and tape it onto our pumpkin. So to make a shadow to appear over your first image, which is on the other side, you are going to tape on your piece. I cut this out just because I find it easier to work with, but if you want to use the entire paper, you can tape on the entire paper. So I have taped on my image, then I'm going to take this tool. Some people also use a screwdriver. Um, yeah, I think it's called a screwdriver, a screwdriver. So you can use that too. And all you're going to do is outline the image. So you want to make sure you are puncturing the pumpkin, but you definitely don't have to go too deep. Like I'm going really deep. You just have to go hard enough to make a hole on the pumpkin. The key thing about this image is you want to make sure it's towards the top of the pumpkin. If you put it directly in the center, it's not going to work. This is the logo of Tixra.com. Third and outline, you can go ahead and remove your image. And it should look something like this. Please don't mind the dirty part. I'm actually going to remove it, so it's okay. And then, here's the fun part. You're just going to connect the dots with a piece like this. So a tip that I have found that helps me is right now I'm taking my tool and going from top to bottom in that direction. And some parts of the pumpkin, it may be actually easier to go the other way. So if you feel too much resistance and it's getting too hard, switch up your direction. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my pumpkin to get this part. So now notice how I'm going from bottom up. And that I found was a lot easier for this part of the pumpkin than going from top down. Even here, I feel like I'm going to have to continue and go nice and slow. This can be an entire day's project. This is something you can do with the kids. This is something you can do with your partner. I actually do this with my partner. He was the one who actually taught me this technique and like you saw on the thumbnail, we make a lot of cool images. So I'm getting a lot of resistance, if you guys can see, going this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over 
and go bottom up. You also don't need to go too deep, like I'm going not too deep. You can tell if I get a little closer. It's not too deep. I'm just going enough to outline my image. entire image. It should be so much easier now. just kind of etched out. I didn't really carve. So here's exactly what my logo look like. And when I light it up, because of the image that I am going to put on the other side, this image is going to be casted above it as a shadow once I light it up and place it against the wall so or some type of surface where the image can be casted. This, and this is it. So it didn't take too long. Depending on the image, it's going to take you longer or shorter, but it definitely makes things easier and makes things a little more accurate. So if you do this, make sure to send us your images at tigsra.com and to our Instagram, and we will showcase it on our website to show you another image of the shadow being cast in the next clip. Bye. And here's what the shadow looks like when you place your pumpkin against a flat surface and light up a candle in the inside. And it even looks like the butterfly or moth is moving. It's actually a moth. Our logo is um, a moth. It's Shakespeare is named after my cat who likes to chase moths. <laughs> Here's me just repeating the same process on the opposite side in the center.